welcome to another day on the Journey Shake Cam. Please do the two warm up questions and I will see you soon. In number one, we have to determine how many significant digits are in the numbers. So I look at A, and these zeros are placeholders. So only the last three are significant. In B, these two are placeholders. So all of these are significant. That would be two, four, and five of the numbers are significant. In C, all of these digits are significant. So there are three. In D, only the 1 and the 5 are significant, so that would be 2. In E, all of them are significant, so that would be 5. In F, all of them are significant, so that would be 6. So hopefully you're getting an idea of how we handle those zeros in scientific expressions. For A, I had to go either to scientific notation or to a decimal form. So this is a decimal, so I will need to change it to a scientific notation. I'm going to move this decimal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. The number is less than one. So it will be 6.50 times 10 to the negative seventh. For B, I'm moving this decimal three, six, seven places. The number is greater than one, so it has to be a positive exponent. In C, I'm only moving this decimal one place. And when I move these decimals, I have to have the same number of significant digits before and after, so that I'm not changing the number of significant digits. In C, the number is 4.25 times 10 to the 1. The number is greater than 1, and I move the decimal one place. In D, now I'm in scientific notation, and I want to change it to a decimal form. So I have to move the decimal to the left because this number is less than 1. So 0, 0, 3, 5, 0. And I can double check myself by saying, if I move this decimal three places, it goes behind the 3. 2.4 times 10 to the third is a positive number. So it's 2400. Zero, zero. I can double check myself because if I move that decimal three places, it would be 2.4. Negative 5 tells me it's a number less than 1. So I have 0 0.00006625. I can double check myself because I would need to move the decimal three, four, five places to get behind the six. There's always one whole number in front of the decimal when I'm going to scientific notation. Now today you have worksheet C to work on and I'm giving you time in class to do that. So good luck and your facilitator has the answers. Good luck and your facilitator has the answers. Bye, see you tomorrow.